All right, guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Matthew Conger, and you are watching The Small Chef 11. All right, guys, so today we're going to be talking about the dirtiest things in a restaurant. And they're pretty disgusting if they're not cleaned and maintained. And this happens in a lot of restaurants. So let's get started. to eat you know you always hope the restaurant's very clean and whatnot but there are still dirty things there and what happens is they don't get cleaned often or they're just overlooked all the time so guys i'm going to tell you the three things here that i think are the dirtiest thing in a restaurant so we're going to start off at number three work ourselves up to number one and the third one is the bathroom the dirtiest thing in the bathroom is actually when you flush when you hit that lever when you flush that is the dirtiest thing in the bathroom. So now we're going to move on to number two. Now with number two here is, I absolutely hate this when I go into a restaurant and get a soda. I usually get water and if it's off tap, I absolutely hate it because the guns they use, some of them have guns, some of them have the levers you can see, pulling or whatever. In those is where bacteria grows, mold, any kind of bacteria. And it gets nasty. Some of these guns they pull out, and you can pull them out and spray in there. What happens with those is bacteria gets filled into the nozzle thing, and it gets disgusting. And then when they put it in the holder, that gets moldy too and nasty. Very, very nasty. So that's why I don't like getting soda at a restaurant. And I typically drink water because it's just nasty how that works. And it just gets overlooked a lot because you don't take them apart. You should every night soak them in water because all that syrup in there is sticky. And when it's sticky and it has a little moisture in there, guess what happens? Mold starts to grow. So pretty nasty. And then the ultimate number one thing that is the nastiest thing in a restaurant and I bet you guys can't guess it. If you do, let me know in the comments below. Don't cheat. But it is the ice machine. That is the nastiest thing in a restaurant. You're like, oh, why is the ice machine nasty? It, it just makes ice. No, 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 no. When it makes ice, it has to push water through the machine. Then it freezes it. Then it lets it go. So you have moisture in there plus heat because the machine gets hot. And usually where people put these machines is in a small little corner in a small closet. So it gets hot and there's moisture. And that equals for a great spot for mold to grow. And I have actually an example. I went into a restaurant one day that I was running. It was my very first day. And I went in there and I went to look at the ice machine. I stuck my head in there and I looked up. This thing was disgusting. There was slime all over the top of it. It just grossed me out. I, we took all the ice, we shut down the ice machine, turned it off, threw out all the ice, went to the store and bought some ice after that because I wasn't going to serve ice to people like that. And then we cleaned it inside and out. And when you clean an ice machine, you have to get rid of all the ice. You just can't clean the top and call it a day. You have to get rid of all the ice. It's called burning the ice. That means getting rid of all the ice in the ice machine. Because it gets nasty at the bottom, too. It's pretty gross. So that's why I don't get ice in my drinks as well. Because how nasty it is. And don't tell me your ice machine is so clean and pristine. Okay, It does get look over at a lot of restaurants. Not everybody, but most restaurants, yeah. Your fast food restaurants, yeah, they don't get changed that often or cleaned that often. They should be cleaned every three months, but it don't happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're stopping in for the first time, please hit that subscribe channel right over there. And if you watch this on Facebook, Please hit that blue button up above. I really appreciate it. And you guys have an awesome day.